lamina okay square and rectangle lamina see here you have to understand the problem very carefully okay see the problem is this the top view of the square lamina of side 30 mm is a rectangle of side 30 into 20 mm with the longer side of the rectangle being parallel to both hp and vp draw the projection and find the inclination with hp and vp see here they are not given inclined to hp and inclined to vp angle but you have to find out see uh, here resting where you take the resting that is very important see they given top view so top view means it is a below x y line is below x y line so where you want to place the lamina now so it is should be placed in below x y line but which one you wanted to consider whether you take a rectangle or you take a square no okay so here they given first rectangle square lamina next they given rectangle side rectangle lamina means first you need to construct rectangle 30 by 30 okay then you need to go for rectangle but here you need to understand thing if you rotate rectangle to some angle or if you rotate square to some angle this lamina look like rectangle in the second position okay so means if you rotate square lamina into a certain angle the square is look like a rectangle so that inclination you have to find out okay so how to find out that inclination so first construct 30 by 30 square Thirty by thirty square. Construct thirty by thirty square. Then do the naming. See, this is A, B, C, D. Extend the projection line upward. Extend the projection line upward. So here we get this is our. surface of lamina then do the naming so if you looking from this a dash and d dash b dash and c dash so show the dimension so this is 30 square okay so after that they given rectangle side is 30 into 20 so here you have already 30 mm so you can extend that same projection line and you can take 30 here and the smaller side is 20 okay so extend the projection line extend the projection line like this okay take 30 is a height height is 30 this side is also 30 so this side you'll get 20 and this is 20 okay so do the naming this is your a b c d okay so this is square and this one is rectangle okay so next step is extend the projection line upward and this with the infinite distance okay we will extend this with a infinite distance because i wanted to find out the angle inclination angle so use compass find out the distance of a dash to b dash okay find out distance a dash to b dash then from this point this is a dash and d dash point cut an arc okay so this is your a dash and d dash point and this is your b dash and c dash point Okay, so now join this to here. Okay, here to here. So you have to find out this angle. So this is the incline to VP angle. So incline to H sorry HP angle is this. Okay, so you have to find out the incline to HP. So how to get the, oh, how much you will get incline to HP? So you have to find out. It's around forty eight degree. You will get okay. So it is around forty eight degree. So this is forty eight degree. Okay. Anyway, so what is the next the third step? So third step is the longer side of the rectangle is being parallel to both HP and VP. Which is the longer side? So thirty thirty is the longer side. Okay. This you have to make parallel to HP and VP. So to make it parallel, you have to rotate and place. Okay. So I'll take A and B and I'll place it here. So this is A and this one is B. Okay, sorry, D. Because this is 30 mm, so that's why I'm taking one, 
1 2 3 so 30 mm distance next and 20 is the this side right so here i'll take see if you rotate like this you'll get b here and you'll get c here so now join join it okay so after that extend the projection line upward extend the projection line upward up to where so up to the final point up to the so this point okay so now see this point is your a dash this point is your uh, d dash this point is your b dash and this point is your c dash okay see you can say that see the longer side is being parallel to both the plane okay so second condition is over so third you wanted to find out inclination with v which p and vp so hp we already found out so we need to find out inclination with vp so to find out inclination with vp you have to draw one more view so that is called as a side view so draw side view okay take 45 degree line exactly 45 degree take 45 degree line okay then extend the projection line from here this side up to incline to no, 45 degree line up to here next extend it upward extend it upward next from here also you extend it upward okay so after that up to where you going to extend so it is extending up to here okay so this is up to here okay na? so now here there is a one part and here is a one more part so this is called as b double dash and c double dash this point is called as a double dash and d double dash okay we join these two point join these two point okay so here you have to find out the angle so this is a 45 degree and you have to find out this and you have to find out this side okay so these two angle contain you know these two angle summation of these two angle you will get 90 degree so this will always be 48 degree and this is how much 40 you know we'll check it out how much you will get Okay, so you are getting around uh, 42 okay so you must get this 42 degree okay so incline to VP angle is 42 degree okay so this completes this problem okay so here you have to understand which where is you need to place and what is the second position and what is the final position so first thing you have to understand top u means it is a below x y line so construct square next take a rectangle construct the rectangle then use the surface of lamina and find out the inclination with hp after that make parallel you know longer side is being parallel to both the planes so make it parallel after that go for finding out the inclination with vp okay